I'm a bus thing. Yo, what's going on? This is the game 360. That Can y'all hear me? I say that. Earth. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? What up, YouTube? Andrew, say what's up to YouTube. Say hi. Hi, YouTube. Uh, hi, YouTube. This is New Job Project. I hope you have a good Christmas. I know for sure that we had a good Christmas. What did you get for Christmas? I got is a vision map book, and I got is a board, and I got is space and maps all around the world. But that's what it's called. And I got is paper and rhyme paper. <laughs> and my else It's Minecraft Story Mode for the Xbox. So my Xbox One is upstairs. And what else I got? Yeah, the iPad. Yeah, iPad too. So you, you had me? You hear me? They, I think they can hear you. So you had mostly school stuff. Yeah. And what, what, what have? Oh what? yeah, I got Minecraft books as well. One Minecraft book. You love Minecraft, don't you? Yes. I know you do. And I love GTA Five. I Give know you do. Comments, comments, comments. Who loves them stuff? Edgy I'm pretty sure there's people in the comments like that type of stuff. What have we been doing since Christmas? We've been playing school, haven't we? Yeah. Practicing your math? Yeah, we've been practicing our math. And I've been teaching my mom. Teach mom math? Yeah, mom. Not today. I'm not going to teach it. Maybe, maybe later on. You no. Know, but that would be, I was upstairs drinking some more orange juice because I even came down there. I thought I was late. What? So? Give me the comments if you love Minecraft. <laughs> all right, all right, that's it. All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube, man? Uh, like I said, I hope you guys had a happy and merry Christmas. And I hope you got safe, had a good time with your family and friends, get to catch up with uh, good memories and made new memories, in fact. Now, uh, what I wanted to say is that I got a little story for you guys today. Let me get close to the mic. There is this woman. There is this woman from Sweden. She looks pretty good. In my opinion, she looks pretty good. She got herself a whole new uh, body surgery. Just crazy. Going beyond. Just beyond the beliefs that she, of, of what she could do to herself. Right now... She looks like a squeezed up toothpaste. Just a crushed can of soda. You guys go about to see this video real quick. Y'all about to see it right now. Has had six ribs removed to allow her to corset her waist to an eye-watering 16 inches. So far, she has spent almost $120,000 on surgery to look more like the cartoon characters she idolizes. I've always been inspired by cartoons and Disney movies, all the curves and tiny ways. People often they come up to me and say like, don't take this the wrong way, but you look like a cartoon. For me, that's a compliment. Can you breathe? Oh my God. I wish I could get mine that small. Pixie grew up in a small town in Sweden, but never felt like she belonged. I have been in a place where I felt like I can't relate, I can't be myself. And I felt really, really lost. I always felt like I need to go somewhere, I need to do something, I need to surround myself with people that is like me. The former electrician moved to America, where she embarked on a series of cosmetic procedures to look more like her favorite animated characters. My inspiration started with Tinkerbell, because I looked really much like her, but later through my transformation, I've been more and more starting to look like Jessica Rabbit. There are so many people out there like for example, transsexual people, they feel like one person inside and it doesn't reflect their outside. And for me, this is not who I am on the inside. I have done a uh, nose job, uh, eyelid surgery, brow lift. I have done I have lip filler. I have some, um, some fillers here in my cheek. This girl is about one inhale away from crushing the rest of her body. If I was her, I'm not saying that, you know, I won't be a female and do type of actions, but if I was her with the huge milk guzzlers that she has, them cannons, 
that she possessed. I would put myself in the porn industry. I would join teams. I would unite with with Amy Anderson and do a tag team duo. Uh, uh, Swedish woman and Amy Anderson versus Lexus Steele and, and Wesley Pipes and two two bosoms set off at a at a at a at head to head matchup in, in in the couch. She got herself some going on for herself. She's saying she looked like some type of superhero. Uh, I don't know what she looked like, but it looks like the Wonder Woman. Like she she dressed herself up later on in the video as Wonder Woman. And, and she can pull it off. Now she's not ugly, but uh, you know the the whole waist thing is kind of out of control. She says she's going for the world record. The, the world record is about 14, a uh, waist is about a 14 inch. She's aiming for, f no, the world record is a 15 inch. She's aiming for a 14. So she's saying she's going to get the extra, extra butt lift. She's going to get another breast plant. She's going to uh, get her lips done again. Them DSLs she already got. I guess she want bigger DSLs. I mean, she want to upgrade from 20 DSL megabytes per second to 70 DSL megabytes per second. See what I'm saying? Good luck to her, though. That's the end of the story. I don't really have nothing much to say about her. She's sexy as hell, in my opinion. She's doing a good job of surgery. The doctor's doing a good job. So maybe she's tipping. Anyways, uh, the Call of Duty, the world Call of Duty right now, it's pretty good. The Christmas noobs are about. They're happy. The little Billies and the little Timmies and, and, and Jimmy, Billy, uh, Jimmy, they all happy. They got their little games. But there's people like us. People like us is waiting for these guys. But like, like Price, like you and the African Wild Black Panthers is hunting down the, the boar. The boar is just sitting there eating his grass, and the Black Panthers just just stalking prey. That's how I am with these little kids. Ain't nothing but little kids and 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 and, and fathers that's got their game. You know, you know the casual fathers and things that they could they could just come wearing and scrape us like that. And his people like them is online right now. I hope I wish it's a double XP. Just like a prestige. I, I ain't even prestige yet. I actually did prestige. I prestige like twice already. Reset my stats because I didn't really like my shit how it was going on in the first place. It was pretty much worth it. So I reset the stats. So I'm not gonna prestige until the uh until double XP comes around. Then after that I'm uh I'm gonna show off my stats and uh, we gonna keep on going from there. I like how the mothership got a huge, a huge buff in the game, and I'm really, oh man, Dave Vonhart, you're the MVP for this one. This, the mothership has to be, it has to be my favorite kill streak now. It's live. The only thing I don't like about it, I'm a stingy person. I don't like everybody jumping in my ship and trying to get some kills off of me. That, that kind of like, that kind of uh, just defeats the purpose of everything. You know, you know, I'm stingy. I, I mean, I'm a team player now, but I'm, I'm stingy. Very stingy, uh, whatever. But I like the fact how they uh, on the mothership now it takes extra missiles to destroy the mothership. I think by two. First, it destroys the the two the two turrets that your teammates should jump in. So that's the good thing. It takes your teammates out of there first. So then the the turrets that your teammates hop on and hop on. It shoots at a slow. It shoots at a short rate. So the turrets going to reload. While my 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 while my main sentry just keeps on shooting without stopping. Plus, I can shoot the missiles without getting shot down. Really, no one really shoots down no more. The wraith, I guess I see a difference uh, sometimes, sometimes not. But overall, I I completely changed my game up. You guys, you guys know me. I don't really play with the submachine guns, but. These guys forced me to play with some machine guns. I see everybody using the Pharaoh and the Razorbacks and the Kudas. I like, you know what? I'm gonna go with this now because they're pissing me off now. I had to stop using the assault rifles. The assault rifles on the Black Ops series is never good. I know it was in Black Ops One and Two, but as a matter of fact, Black Ops Two, the submachine guns was overpowering that one too. But these guys go along with the flow of things. You know, if you go along with the flow like I am, then you'll be fine. Yeah, as you can see, I'm using the Weevil, the rapid fire with the silencer. It's killing. 
I saw someone use this gun once. I saw like I was like 50 bullets. Let me try this out real quick. And all of a sudden, I'm averaging like 70, 70 kills a game. 70 and 10, 80 and 9, 50 and 3, 66 and 3, nuclear, this and that, blah, blah, blah. Andrew. Yeah. Is there anything else you want, anything else you want to say? Anything else you got for Christmas? You say you want? What's up? What else you got for Christmas? I got headphones. Yeah, headphones. What kind of headphones? Xbox One headphones. Xbox One? Yeah. You like them? Yeah. Headsets are great, ain't they? Yeah. What else you got? And a new joystick. New controller? Yep. That's good. You can run around with that Minecraft man now, right? Yeah. That's good. Give my five. I love you, boy. Love you too. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. But uh, I think this might conclude the commentary. I went off on these kids, man. I uh, I remember this like it was yesterday. You know, it was me, my boy from work, my little cousin, uh, late B4 some B4L, late Tiger, my little cousin, little little cousin. You know, I had to I had to carry him to, to the promised land. I can't have him getting raped on the game. I was like, he lucky to have me as a cousin, so he can hit me up and say, Hey, Eric, you wanna play some call? Yeah, I'll play some call dude with you. Why not? You know, carry your young bucks. This might conclude commentary though. It's good to it's good to be back on the mic. It's good to finally do this again. Nigga went one ten and four.